Our lovely water signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive guided reading for the week of the 14th of August, and I hope you enjoy it. Please push like and subscribe if it resonates with you, and leave a comment because I'm always interested in what you're doing. Okay, let's start off with the week. You guys have got some sort of choice to make or some sort of decision. You've got, I'll put these together to show you. You've got the Three of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Cups. So it's like you have a choice to make or a decision to make, and it involves a separation, probably, for some of you, from a family member. Some sort of separation, or you're choosing something about your family, and it's making you feel sad. So this choice, this can be sometimes where you're carrying a sad heart from a past um, relationship or something like that because this is a card of reminiscing and looking back. Sometimes it's to do with, I see it as to do with family. You may be reminiscing to a happier time when you were a happy family and now you're not, that sort of thing. Um, this is can be a separation from your family, that sort of thing, or somebody from your past. For those of you that it's not a separation, it's where you're reminiscing about happier times with family and you're now choosing what to do. But you've still got this sadness. So this sadness here is telling you fives. You can choose to, you know, live in the past and be sad all the time. Or you can choose to take one step forward and enjoy all of this happiness that's waiting for you. Fives are about choice, change, freedom. You've overcome all sorts of obstacles in the past and you can do it again. Um, this is a reminder too to even though you might be feeling like you're sinking, it's to be grateful morning and night for just the little things in your life that will help you come out of that feeling. You are strong. You can cope with this, even though you may not feel like it when you're going through it. These uh, situations are making you stronger, but also the things that you have coped with have made you into a very strong person. You are now uh, working towards your future you have got um, it's like working towards your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow you are plowing away moving forward sevens are all about overcoming your fears false emotion appearing real and working towards saving up money and creating money for a better future and you've got to work out is this what you really want to do uh, and get on with it or do it if this is what you want and then, and then you've got blessings underneath that is blessings um, around your home life. This is, for some of you in uh, relationships, this is a blessings for a happy relationship. For those of you that are single, this is about having everything organized at home and at work and you are receiving blessings from above. And by having everything organized, it gives you the freedom to move forward into other things because everything around you is going, it's all changing and it's all fated though. So go with the flow, go with the wheel. And then I feel there's somebody around you who can give you advice with money. This is a person who's worked very, very hard. They're safe, they're secure, they're very good with money. They can give you good advice. But for others of you, I feel that these changes and what's happening is going to lead to you feeling strong and secure and content about where you are um, in your life. Now, they've got, I've got two little stories covering everything here. The first one is that... Don't underestimate your own ability. You're very, very wise. You've learned through the school of Knox. You can keep your emotions out of things and see things clearly. That can be you, but this can be a lawyer or a teacher, somebody around you like that who is very, very wise, who can give you good counsel because you've got a little bit of mental conflict going on about what you want to do, where you want to be. This can also represent people talking about you and gossiping behind your back, but you're wise enough to move away from that and move forward. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and fives are about choice, change, freedom. You're moving forward. You're choosing to move forward. You are feeling like you need a rest though. And so you can either get a healing, um, counseling, or resting so that you can get your thoughts grounded again. Stand outside and bare feet. Get yourself balanced again. Because at the moment your mind's probably a bit out of balance. But you are progressing. You're going from that three of swords to the four of swords and the five of swords. So you are moving forward. This is about resting and healing. You can often see signs too uh, with this card. Uh, like looking out for signs that your angels and your um, ancestors are looking after you and guiding you. So it can be a butterfly, it can be a feather that falls down, and you can always then say thank you, you know, because your guardian angels are looking after you. But you either need a rest or you need a healing. 
and then everything is going to be okay. The sun is going to be shining. Your answers to your questions are going to be yes. You're going to be feeling a lot better. Everything is turning out positively. And they're telling you, you have got what it takes to do things independently. You feel like you haven't got something, that something is missing. But Spirit is saying, no, you've got, you've got enough money. You've got enough of everything. You will be all right. You'll be independent doing things. It's going to make you feel a lot happier, actually. And then the other side of the story, I mean, another part of your life is that you've got the beginning of new, um, uh, either new money or feeling safe and secure. Something's coming in that you're going to start feeling a lot more secure. And it's a life changing thing that's coming in. Some sort of opportunity is coming in. And I feel that it's coming in very quickly. And I feel it's going to make you feel really, really happy. Okay, and really, really wonderful. So that's fantastic, especially having the sun card, the fall card, new beginnings. Um, when you start being more grateful for the little things you've got in your life to help you overcome stuff. Pisces, you've got new love. Precious love is on its way into your life. A time of renewed excitement and zest for life. New romance, new connections, new possibilities. So that's fabulous for you singles. And for you doubles out there, this can be a new opportunity to do something that you love, uh, not necessarily a person, but some new opportunity that you're going to really, really love. And then you've got tell a loved one how much they do truly mean to you. It's better to tell them while they are amongst the living. Okay, that's a very important message. And Cancer, you have got explore new shores time to escape and explore new shores there's so much to learn when you travel outside of your ordinary realm of existence so go forth and experience woohoo look at that black and white which represents the hawkeye magpie is our sort of the area that i live in and you have got focus on your dreams cancer allow the power of manifesting to start now okay cancer and Scorpio, you've got, you found it. Yes, this is what you've been waiting for. Embrace this option as it will bring you growth and positive new energy for your future, Scorpio. Woohoo, look at that, beautiful. And then you've got, have compassion for another. Wow, so it's probably someone that you've... Uh, that you that you misunderstood them or you haven't seen both sides of a story, uh, something like that. So have compassion for somebody else and see their point of view type of thing. Well, lovely. So this looks amazing. You start off the week feeling sad, feeling tired, feeling run down, thinking about family or reminiscing about the past, but it progresses on where your life starts changing. You're, you're getting your family life more in balance and you've got new beginnings, the sun looking after you, which means that things are turning out positive. And I feel that it's going to be even better than what you imagined because you're reminiscing about the past, thinking back instead of now start looking forward. Okay, lovelies, I'll put the proper buy me a coffee link below this reading if you feel like buying me a coffee, and that's fine if you don't. So thank you so much. Blessing to, blessings to you all. Have the most amazing week. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.